Hello all, uh, welcome to I Love Ruby. So last video we saw about our doc or Ruby doc. So today we are going to look into something called Ruby style guides and all those stuff. So okay, so if you go into professional Ruby programming, all this comes into play. Like our doc becomes important, that is generating and moving to read documentation becomes important, and the style guide also becomes important. So what is actually a style guide is like okay like uh, uh, there is a, a way to write ruby programs and uh, people expect you to write ruby programs in that way okay and uh, so it's better you stick to it so that like uh, the programs look good to read or something like that and uh, so that's the thing so uh, one problem with programming languages like ruby is you can write a program in almost any way like uh, or something like that and so uh, uh, one person might write a ruby program and solve a problem and another person might solve the same problem but their programs might be very inconsistently styled so uh, ruby uh, people have come up with this thing called style guides and it's uh, it's what to say it's um, look a lot of people have liked it like 15.9 thousand people have liked it so let me also like start it okay so okay so yeah so uh, okay so for a beginner yeah this could be too much but uh, as you become a professional ruby programmer one expect you to follow this style so uh, let me tell you what is a bad style and what is a good style so for example you just define a function over here let me make it bigger so that you define a function over here and the next line starts four spaces from this first uh, line or something like that okay so you just intend four spaces so that's not good okay so that's the thing and uh, ruby programmers prefer to in intend it by just two spaces okay so that's the thing and similarly we like to have line length of just 80 characters and not more and uh, uh what to say uh, uh we don't like to put semicolons over here and all those things and uh, that's the thing and rather than putting two ruby statements in one line we we'll prefer two ruby statements in two lines and all those stuff so this is what a ruby style guide is so when you become a ruby programmer and when you're becoming professional it's better to read the style guide so that like uh you do something that's not what to say weird to other programmers in ruby world okay so and yeah something some style guides are good like okay look uh over here like sum is equal to one plus two like over here you just you're just writing without any spaces but this looks a bit good right so uh if you ask me i won't say like i adhere to all the style guidelines and uh, style guidelines and all those stuffs but yeah like i feel it's good okay so that's the thing right so um so yeah that's the thing so one needs to go through the style guides and get yourself acquainted and all those stuff okay so and one might ask okay like look i don't know about the style guides and all those things and even if i read i'll forget and all those stuff so so there is a project called rubocop so all you just need to do is to install ruby in your computer and just type in gem install rubocop and this will get installed and uh, this rubocop is a gem that will take a ruby file and analyze it for uh, analyze it whether it's following the style guidelines or not okay so that's the thing right so uh, let's try it so um i have my text mate open here let me just close unnecessary stuff okay so i just have my text mate here right and oops uh let me save this file as okay rubocop example.rb right and let me just make it bigger so that you people can see right so right okay this one is there right okay so let me just launch my terminal and have my oh god something happened 
Okay, so all these are there. Okay. Okay. Now let me just run my Robocop. Robocop and then okay, like Robocop example. Right. And I deliberately made mistakes and it does say, right? So it says like okay to put something called frozen string literal and all those stuff and what to say like uh, uh it says like okay in this line like uh line one okay in line one okay it says like okay a string should be of single quotes and not of double quotes okay and uh and yeah it also says some empty trailing lines are there yeah, I'm, I'm not sure like what it says like empty trailing lines okay so let me just run it again there's no empty trailing lines ah okay only two offenses detected okay yeah fine. so the single quotes and something should be frozen string literal okay so it says this uh you need to have like single quotes only over here and only over here and not over here that's because like you're embedding this name over here so that can be done only when there is double string if you put single string no this hash name won't print hello Karthik or something it will print like hello hash name or something like that okay so that's the thing right so uh yeah two offenses have been detected and uh what you can do is you can okay like uh, let me just put this and uh, i just copied this and then just put rubocop and then you will be getting something you can duck duck go it okay so don't use google uh but yeah like even duck duck go is like it's a proprietary software like uh okay uh, this frozen string literal okay i don't want to explain it now okay let me put it for the another stuff so let me just uh style okay okay prefer single quoted string let me just copy this let me just duck the go it but yeah duck the go to is a proprietary software right you really don't know what goes on inside what are all things he records and all this stuff okay so so this is the thing and uh, prefer single quoted strings and all those things i don't know why it's taking so long is my internet working yeah google okay so i think this opened quite fast then this one okay so rubydog.info okay i don't know why this is this hasn't opened or something like that okay so so okay yeah anyway uh leave it right okay so this is bad like putting double quotes is bad and putting single quotes is good and all those things okay so that's the thing that's how uh ruby people prefer it so so that's what uh it's saying so what you can just do is like okay like you can just put something like this and all those things right and yeah like now once again you can run this rubocop now i think you will get only like one thing as defect like something called frozen string literal okay so for it yeah i'm just going to do something okay so there is a thing called okay like uh, rubocop and hyphen a i think it means autocorrect okay and let me just put this rubocop example right and what it will do is like it will just automatically correct it it says two offenses detected and two offenses corrected yeah fine right okay so it just put this thing called frozen string literal to true okay so if you want to know about frozen string literal yeah like i'll do another video personally yeah i'll just do another video over it uh what is the difference between string symbol and frozen strings and all those stuff right uh but yeah rubocop auto corrected it and so the file became a bit more rubocopish okay so yeah this is a cop like we programmers sometimes hate it like <laughs> so when we type some programs and or to say submit it uh, a computer automatically it's called pipeline or something like that so that's a remote computer that runs this rubocop 
that might uh, summon some error. So we'll be thinking about the business domain and we'll be coding about it. And we just want to finish coding and uh, have a nice sleep that night or just have a nice time with the family or something like that. But this one will just throw an error. And somebody higher up, then you will just say, look, or somebody, some peer who has reviewed it will say, look, there's a Rubo Copera. Yeah. So, so yeah, that will just irritate us. So, but yeah, of course, yeah, all cops are irritating okay so at least like unlike in my state this cop doesn't uh, ask for bribes so i'm happy about it <laughs> so so okay right okay so that's the thing so yeah and that's one allegation over here about cops in my state Tamil Nadu, right so they take a lot of bribes and all those things okay fine this doesn't ask bribes this just goes by rules okay even if i paid million dollars rubocop will still say like okay look we have done these mistakes and all this stuff so so to auto correct you just do this rubocop hyphen a and this would have auto corrected it and then yeah that's the thing like where did i do hyphen a and it's somewhere okay anyway i i couldn't get it i, I don't know where i put it hyphen a right uh yeah no offenses detected Two offenses directed, two offenses corrected, yeah. So I just did this hyphen A over here, right? So yeah, uh, that's how it is. So yeah, it's better to check it when you're in professional environments, it's better to check it. So that's the thing, right? I don't know whether it's good or not. Uh, okay, and another thing I just want to say, one interview I, I saw uh, in which David, the guy who created Ruby on Rails was David Helmia Hansen, like we call him, I don't know, I can't pronounce his name properly. We call him DHH. He was saying like, uh, and Basecamp, they don't think, okay, like putting, uh, what to say, like this single quotes and double quotes, like it's a, it's a big sin or something like that. They want software to get to be, uh, they want software to solve problems of people and their customers, okay? So they are not so much keen on Rubocop. They have only very small set of rules. So Rubocop and all can be configured. Like you can have a YAML file in which you can say what are all rules you need you you that is like you like to have and what are all rules you like to avoid and all those stuff right basecamp is a company that wants to solve people's problems than to what to say kill programmers by uh, <laughs> telling them to do this thing and that thing and this process and that process okay so that's the thing right even though it's an american company i think there's very less process processes in that company so hopefully yeah uh, it, it's programmers have a very uh, healthy mind and healthy uh what to say um, uh, they are mentally healthy okay and that's what i hope okay so in other companies it's not like that okay so like uh, even though you might argue and you might uh, have really have facts on your side and uh, this is all more about like okay you can't say facts this is all more about like values okay so uh, this value could be one person could think this value is right another person could think that value could be this right okay so that's the thing and uh, so yeah you can't fight against big companies if they want yeah you have to do right so that's the thing so yeah this is what rubocop you can use it to annoy your juniors or something like that and prove your superiority and it has fortunately or unfortunately it has become part of a uh, ruby ecosystem Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, next uh, video, we'll be looking at something good, okay? Not as enforcing or something like <laughs> Rubocop or something like that. So, yeah, we people hate it. Like, I, I, I don't want to hide it. So, we people hate it. We people hate Rubocop, right? So, that's the thing. And yeah, we'll look at modules and mixes. Okay? So, yeah, uh, that'll be next video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah.